Hey everybody, so the time is finally here. We are about to head out on the 1000 kilometer BC Dragget Challenge. Cars are all running good. We've got Groot, the Root Beer Nova. Got Rusty, the Rusty Trans Am. And the Mullet Maker, the Blue Camaro. 354 speed, 354 speed, 404 speed. So we're all driving stick cars. So next check in will be along the highway somewhere. Second pit stop, the Laclahash Bakery. If you're ever in Laclahash, make sure you check this place out, but you gotta get here early. Cash Creek. So that's about uh, a three and a half hour drive from Quinnell to Cash Creek where we are in BC. So we're at our hotel. Our friends are way down at the other end of the hotel. Um, but we're going to see if we can go get through tech tonight and then it'll just speed things up for racing tomorrow. We're heading up the hill to the Cash Creek airstrip where we're racing today. So Epic drive to a drag strip anywhere. So, see how this goes here. I'll turn the camera back on in a bit.
Cash Creek Drag Strip. We're about to head out. Uh, stop for fuel in Cash Creek. Car did really, really well. I ran a uh, well. I ran three ten O's in that eight mile, so better than I expected. So we'll see if we can match that up at the next track in Prince George. So we just made it into Prince George. It's about a six-hour drive from where we were in Cash Creek. About to start looking for the Prince George checkpoint. Sandman Hotel parking lot in Prince George. We lost Conrad and Quinnell. He had fuel system problems. Don't know if he's going to make it tonight. Well, it's Friday morning in Prince George. Um, as you can see, no drag racing today. So this really sucks, but we're heading to a driver's meeting at Chieftain Auto Parts here in Prince George. And we'll figure out what we're doing from there, but probably pretty much carrying on to 100 Mile House where we're racing tomorrow. Well, we made it out to Nitro Motorsports Park in Prince George. Weather's dried up, sun is out. We did not expect this the way it was pouring this morning. So we'll have some nasty black clouds rolling over, but it looks like they're passing right by. So Hopefully, we're going to get a good day of racing in. Hello, I'm Marlene, John's wife. We've been sitting here in Prince George for about two hours now waiting for everything to dry up. And here comes the man. So we already got tech. Not down there helping, John. Because it looks like we have plenty of help. We're ready to go. Because if we don't, those clouds are going to come and take us. already but he's been here since this morning. We are finally lining up to do some racing. The uh, track is dry, the sun is out. Looks like we're okay now.
So we did get racing in in Prince George. It was a su successful day. Everything dried up. Everyone got the runs in. So now we travel about four hours to 100 Mile House, BC. So we'll see you guys there. Good morning. We made it to 100 Mile. We're here at the races. At John's assistant putting his tires on for him. It's the 100 mile airport strip. Good morning. So we made it to 100 mile. We're at the races. Everything's looking good. They're running some of the local guys to get some rubber down on the airstrip before we go. So hopefully next little bit we'll be doing some drag racing. drag racing day and 100 mile house got cut short because as you can see it's raining again but we got two runs in car did good around a 10.4 in the eighth mile so it's been pretty consistent every track so we just stopped and got some overpriced fluffy drinks from the chartreuse moose in 100 mile house british columbia now we're headed for lillouette bc we'll see you there
country you will ever see. Uh, Lytton, Lillooet area, British Columbia. the Little Wet Airstrip uh, here for racing this morning as you can see the ground is wet we had rain again so we're hoping it's gonna pass We've got a bunch of guys out driving the track just uh, trying to dry her off but have a look at this setting for an airstrip for a drag strip that it is today is beautiful you can see how far down the snow came down the mountains this morning so anyway we're gonna sit and wait a little while longer and hopefully we will be doing some racing here in the next well, to get the track dry maybe in the next hour or so keep our fingers crossed is dry we are just starting to get lined up looks like we're gonna, gonna do some racing We made it to Cash Creek for our final day of racing and it's raining again and from what the forecast is showing it is supposed to rain all day today so I think well we've thought this a couple times and got to race but I think today will actually be rained out but we'll go to the drivers meeting we'll see what's going on we'll keep you guys posted Well, we did it guys, we made it home. The car never missed a beat. We put on about 1600 kilometers, drag raced at an event every day, and I never had to turn a wrench on this car. So for a car that was up until last summer, parked for 30 years with just some minimal maintenance, you know, I've got five grand total in this car. So if you ever think about doing one of these events and you think you don't have the right car, you don't have a race car, your car isn't nice enough, man, we had so much fun. 
it ran great it was a little faster than we expected so it was fun in that sense i mean we weren't competitive but that just doesn't matter to me it was all about having fun and driving cars and that is what these things are for I mean, you can have the nicest car in the world with all the biggest horsepower and best handling and all that, but it's no fun if you're not driving it. Get them out there, do an event like this, go with your friends. It's a lot of fun. Big thank you to everyone that involved in uh, putting together the BC Drag It Challenge. Um, all the volunteers and everyone that was involved. It was, uh, yeah, it went off really well. Of course, there's a few growing pains, but to be expected for a first year event, but nothing, uh, nothing major at all. So, so hopefully I was able to put together a half decent video to whatever video I managed to take. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I guess by this point, if you're watching this long, you'll have known how it turned out. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for checking out my videos and hope to see you at the next one.